Hello, welcome to the latest episode of Old Brother, a podcast about Salford slash Manchester's legendary institution, The Fall. Uh, we got delighted to have a guest this week who was the person who suggested the podcast in the first place, Mr. Mr. Mark Riley. Hello. Hello. Uh, also joining us uh, is uh, his erstwhile McCartney to his Lennon, the Gennaro, who, who, who was which was which, <laughs> uh, Mr. Craig Scanlon. So for the purpose of the tape, good afternoon, Craig. You all right? All right. Good, 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 good. And obviously my much more talented brother, Steve, who's also joined us. Evening, Steve. Right, so here we are. So the first thing I was going to ask, and you'll we'll cause some debate. When was the last time the four of us were in a room together? Right. Well, I mean, this is <laughs> what you touched on it earlier about um, the memory bank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the collective <laughs> memory <laughs> bank. So, I mean, I'm I'm really, really rubbish. Right, my memory is shocking. But when I've been listening to you, your podcast, I've been, I've been thinking, that's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I know what you say. That's wrong. wrong. <laughs> so, so, I mean, I've Now's your chance. In the <laughs> kingdom of the mind. You don't have the answer to it, though. Yeah. I know that's wrong, but I don't know that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had, we had an hour right with him and Simon trying yeah, to decide well, whether they, they went to New been, Zealand or not. <laughs> largely speaking, you're right. I mean, none of us will have a clue. I don't know. It could have been, because obviously, you know, me, Steve, Paul, we've seen each other a lot in different scenarios. Yeah. Seen Craig less, but um, but probably not in the company of you. I remember we were at the Fiery Furnaces, weren't we? Um, yeah. At the Nine Day Cafe, but you wouldn't have been there. No. Nope. So all four of us, I really can't place. It's been a long time. I mean, this is, I've not seen Mark for longer than, I mean, see these mm-hmm. two. But that, well, yeah. that's after yeah. a long gap as well. Yeah, it was, yeah. You had an idea. I said it was your wedding, but you see, it, was, it wasn't really a wedding. It was just like a reception. And I don't, that wasn't today or yesterday. I've still got a bone to pick with you about that, because when you fought, you, when you got up for a jam, you had Simon on drums. Never got all about me. Not, not that I'm bitter and twisted. this is all about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not taping and it. And I guess the Chrissy was in my league. I'm not, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was Andy, Andy Berry on vocals. You three, obviously guitars, and then uh, Simon on drums, and you did brand new Cadillac. Well, I'm not bitter. I seriously don't remember that. I don't remember. I remember that. a band called, band called the Blue Torpedoes, which was an Eddie. Well, it was there, yeah, wasn't it? Ed. Was it? You see, I don't remember any of this. Right, okay. But then again, you see, I mean, like in, in your book, Steve, so you talk about going on a going on a roller coaster with Nick Cave in Greece, and I didn't remember that either. So if you don't remember that kind of shit going down, <laughs> then, if we have there was that, that time that. we met the Pope. Do you not remember that? <laughs> I do remember <laughs> that. <laughs> I must say, we went on a few adventures with uh, the Earthy Party, though, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that, that gig, first time we saw him when he threw the light. Well, that was at rafters, wasn't it? Yeah, I ducked. And it yeah, hit me on the shoulder. shoulder. Did it hit you, or did you catch it? No, it hit me on the shoulder. Right. And smashed Nick through a light. Yeah. yeah. He picked the light off the ceiling. I can't. I need the mine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he picked I mean, this light off the stick of rafters out on a low ceiling, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. And he threw it out in the audience. You'd have to imagine it was pretty hot because it was a spotlight and he was unscrewing it. It's not like he just grabbed it quickly and chucked it. It wasn't just a bleeding bulb, was it? No, it was a whole lamp. It was a spot lamp and it whizzed past my ear and smashed on his shoulder and then we went to say hello afterwards, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. You want to use your lamp back? <laughs> With a lamp yeah. sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> and am I right saying that John Peel was there? I don't. I don't remember that. He might have been, but see, I, the only time I ever met John Peel was at the, on the tube because he never spoke to the band. But he never came to gigs, did he? He never. He never no, sort of said I'm. I'm not. pretty sure he was at the birthday party. Right. right? Okay. Yeah. Because um, I've talked about that before. We used to go on rafters nearly you know, every week. We used to see gigs. Didn't we? Yeah. Well, I mean, that, again, just listening to Craig's podcast that then so and and going back to the first one where you're saying so you're saying steve <laughs> this is like yep. i'm sorry about I this i think but, if i know mine is quite accurate in some of yeah them. it is because i found out seeing the fall first yeah was penetration rafters mm. you're right, obsessed okay. with the electric circus <laughs> i'm not obsessed with electric circus <laughs> to be honest i can't remember seeing the electric circus oh, I, remember oh, that. Did, yeah. I remember it being a long day and people the popping night. in and two out of the place yeah, wasn't two it? days yeah we went both, both days i don't remember gone out of my way to watch them I just remember seeing them for the first time, which was the. Uh, right, well, okay. Well, if I'm not, which was first then? Rafters or the electricity? Rafters. Penetration or Rafters. So that was Craig and I went to that. Yeah. And then the, I think the next one might have been magazine, 
And then the next one might have been Wayne County and the electric chairs. I've got, like, I did take some photographs of it before. Come on, right. sir. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do it very often. Yeah. But, so, I mean, so, and he, but Craig dead right. I remember watching the fall with penetration, and we just both looked at each other and went, fuck it. It was true. This is, this is it. All the garbage you had to sift through. And yeah. He, so yeah but he was like, whoa. How do you square that with we didn't seek him out of the electric circus? And you were a favourite band by then, weren't we? Didn't seek him out of the penetration. It. Oh, I think right. after that gig, oh, you had your T-shirt, or was it after the like the third gig, the second uh, gig? Trying to place it together, I imagine that it, I did the T-shirt I maybe after seeing the magazine show, so maybe right. the second time that we saw them. Right, okay. And then I think it's at Wayne County, that, sorry, it's scary. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The t-shirt, <laughs> yeah, stone. Like that was it. Alan Barton's got the tattoo. Hate it, ticks on. And then, uh, and then I, I would imagine that Smithy saw me at the magazine show with right. the shirt on, and then. Or at the Wayne County show, right? Probably. Okay, and then and that's when he started talking just without the shirt. Right. So I'm not sure where, where within all of that the electric circuit was, but it's certainly the first time that we saw the penetration. Right. Yeah. And and Wayne County, and I don't think you were at either. either of them. No. no, right. So I was at the magazine. Again, you, were you? Yeah. Right. Now the thing is that you you couldn't remember seeing the band with Una. <laughs> But <laughs> she was, as you pointed out, yeah. she, she was at the Electric Circus. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's so long ago, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's and crazy. They, you know, well, even he remembers joining the band and being told he was playing the keyboard. I know. Completely I forgetting that. the fact that they had a keyboard player. But she at the wasn't time. there. I remember playing Rebelli Shoebox on the keyboard. Right. Yeah. Right. So, the way you say that, you don't believe me as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't, don't remember. So, Your Honour. So, at Rafters, that was Freel, was it then? Would it, mm. would it have been yeah. Freel? Right, okay. And, and then, we saw him at the band on the wall as well. Did you see, you didn't see him at the squat then with Eric when he yeah. threw the chair? Yeah. 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 So, okay. that's when, that was pretty much his leaving party, wasn't it? I mean, mm. the only time that Eric surfaced to do anything was for the John Peel. <laughs> so didn't do. Which is, of course, I was in the van as well. Yeah. And Steve Davis was in there with his congas. Yeah, yeah. I remember going up to St. Paul's Road in Presswich and opening the door, and Eric just going, I'm not getting, I'm not playing in any fucking band with congas. And he slammed the door and went back in. Seems a bit short sighted. <laughs> nothing, nothing to do with the shirt, no. Sorry? Nothing to do with the shirt. <laughs> There is that story that he's yeah, a yeah, no, shirt. He, he said congas, when he, that's yeah. what he did, just congas. Well, the, the thing about that is. As far as I can piece together, they said to Steve Davis, bring your congas, then you've got a session for you, and yeah. so then that would pay him for driving the van down. That's sounds pretty yeah. much about the side. Oh, yeah, I mean, it, that was the old trick, wouldn't it? I mean, you just yeah. have to get an extra yeah. MU fee first. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. I from Manchester down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how the polyphonic spree started, isn't it? Yeah. Just to get, but, um, yeah, great on Rebellious Shootbox and Congress. Yeah, yeah, really good. They work, I mean, it didn't work so well in Holland when we went with that. Oh, drum, no. oh I thought, yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of worn off a bit, I think. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's all pretty well having a drummer and, and a conga player, but just a conga player. I mean, I wouldn't mind, but Eric went on to join Santana. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he didn't. Hey, Fake news. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, the other thing I was going to ask you about is the sirens. So, I've not, the, nobody talks much about that. I'm not, I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, what I was going to so you, you did one gig with the silence, so that was you three and Stuart out of Fast Cars, is that nice? Steve, Steve Murray. Steve Murray, Steve Murray. Steve Murray yeah. Stuart was yeah. a bass player, his brother. Oh, right, okay. Right. And there's obviously. And Paul a, Easton. The drummer, yeah, was, was the drummer, yeah. and he was in Drummer in Fast Cars as well. No. No, was he not? <laughs> no. Oh, right, okay. No. We got right. him from an advert. It's quite somewhere. It was smoothie, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Middle class. Oh, in a yeah. way. Right. So were you any good then? No. Mm. Right, okay. Not really. I mean, we did. I remember we did Iron Down, didn't we, by the Beatles? Yeah. Did, did I mean, it was difficult. That was quite good for us. Yeah. yeah. That stayed. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not bad. It was yeah. a bit kind of. What velvet song did you do? You did it, Tara. But I mean, it wasn't like you could pick any song then. It was only because we had the single when you turned it out. I mean, there was a, the old songs to learners were quite hard to come by then. It wasn't like you could pick them off the internet, was it? Yeah, I mean, and we couldn't play very well either. So, no. I mean, but it was, it, it, it really was a case. I mean, you know, if you think about it, what we used to do for that, we used to have to hire the village hall, the church hall, yeah. St. Michael, for a fiver, which was pretty extortion. That's a lot of money then, a lot of money. In, uh, you know, for, a, for these kids coming down and doing it. And we used to carry all the gear back and forth. It was like a trail of ants. So we were from your house up, yeah. up Moorcroft Road, and, you know, yeah, yeah. back That's again right. with a drum. 
and it, and it was yeah pretty laborious. And we didn't do <laughs> that so much. So the rehearsal time was carrying in the game. Right? Yeah, and but and so yeah, the only gig that we did was the uh, was a pitch gig. But John the postman did get up at the end, didn't he? Did which it? Kind of, yeah, which kind of gave us the thumbs up. Do you remember that? And there was a band called no, Shock. Get over every fucking yeah. 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 I know. <laughs> well, that you point, didn't know that. that that's that. Right. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, I took it as that. You yeah. Know, yeah. I, I remember that. So there was a band called The Shock who opened for us. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and female. Female. Yeah. 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 Now I heard. Now I don't know if this is right or wrong. That Gillian from New Order was in The Shock that night. Wow. Uh, so maybe I don't know. Maybe I can. Ask Cookie yeah. or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Or Jilly. Yeah, yeah, that'd be better to ask her, really, yeah. yeah they, they were a very, like, early prototype, riot girl type band, though, yeah. weren't they? Very, yeah. Uh, they, weren't, uh, they were kind gay of... Gay animal was, and all that as well. Yeah, but it was funky. very... Yeah. Huh? Well, didn't you have a girl singing in the silence after she was... What we know? Yeah. We never got to a gig. We had a girl. Yeah, we tried it. It yeah. just didn't work out with it. Right, so that was that will have been about the same time as you started seeing, or was it a bit earlier than you started seeing the football? It, was, it would have been about the same time, I imagine. Right. But yeah, we'd only got one gig under our belt when I got grass to be a roadie, and then it wasn't that long after that. No, grass. but Steve no. had left for the final. Yeah, that, yeah. And this, he left and after the first gig. <laughs> that tells its own story. Still going, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, fast cars, fast cars are still, still going. going. Yeah. 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 That fast cars just returned from their. Japanese tools. Well, that's the story about them, isn't it? Because they pressed up that one single, didn't they? Kids just want to dance, is it? Is it on TJM? Is it? I'm not Possibly. sure. It might be. No, but they okay. pressed up a thousand and sold about fifty, and then binned the rest. And so, as a result, they're all worth a, they're worth a fortune. It's like a five hundred quid record. Okay, you know, that's the way to do it, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you see that? Um, but it's power pop, wasn't it? That he yeah. was into and. Yeah. John Maher put this thing on the other day. You know that picture of Pete Shelley when they had that two year anniversary of Letter Free Travel and he's holding the poster up yeah. for the first one. So mm. all the dogs, mm. bulk the buzzcocks, right? That went for some ridiculous amount of money. It's yeah. something like 20 odd grand or something. Well, more. you know that John had a lot of He had a lot of his mum threw him out, yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 that's, why, that's why my cellar is full of shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you never know. Yeah. What was, what was, was it Wayne Barrett, the singer? Yeah. 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 You remember when they played that though? He came on that really carefully. Yeah, yeah. He had a cloak on as well, didn't he? Did he? Yeah, yeah, he used to do a bit of that. As well. He came on quite sensibly and then he suddenly went like put all glitter in his cloak, didn't he? Oh, it was talcum powder. powder. Talcum yeah, powder. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, not having a dry ice machine, that's okay. That's a hint for you, yeah. It's a lot easier, isn't it? Go to boots. So, yeah. <laughs> so you were up you were up the last bit of all the sea swamp the dogs. Yeah, yeah. sure, yeah. Right, okay. So, well, yeah, a bit out of your. So, when, how did you come across Sort of the Dog? Because obviously the wind shot bands, aren't they? Oh, yeah, um, I think probably there was a guy in, I called Anthony Coffey in our year. Oh, school. yeah. And he, was, and he was. Oh, younger. Greg, sorry, Greg's and Greg's you were, yeah. He was younger than Sort of the Dog, but knew him, and he was in a band as well. And they also knew Wild Round, which turned into Ed Banger and the Nose. Right, is that Step Billy Duffy? <laughs> no, it was Eddie. Eddie Garrity, right. um, but also Phil Tolman was in there, who ended up in Primal Scream, right. and Blue Orchids, Toby. Right. Toby, yes. Come on. And uh, we kind of knew Mike Rossi from gigs, didn't we? Yeah, we, I think we'd, uh, we'd recognised him from gigs because um, he was like, he was like, I can't remember. He was a mastering ramp, I tell you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he was a mastering ramp. He was, a yeah. mastering ramp. Yeah, we did pick him up. But but pick him yeah. up. Anyone you ever talked to about? That time they say the free trade all of them, you used to be able to sneak in, and it sounds like yeah. the whole fucking audience, none of them paid in, they all sneaked in the side door. The reason you could sneak in so easy was because they had the same security as they did for the Halley, and they were all really old guys. So right, dead, okay. No offense, but they were just dead easy to bamboozle. So, and also, what you do, oh, here we go. you have a pretend ticket, right? You better scrap the paper, they have two bam- bouncers at the door, you go to the bouncer on the left. But then suddenly turns up a bounce on the right. So he's thinking, so think, ah, right, okay. Okay. that was it, exactly. <laughs> he <laughs> thinks you've shown at one of them. But also, it's still cheap to get in, so we just went to every pile of shite. You a lot of shite, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. 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 Anything. I mean, I remember. Carla Blay band. Who? Yeah. Who? Yeah. Chat Brinson, Carla Blay. So if a tramp was a. Must have been a Well, I like them. So I bought tickets for that. This was pre breakfast in America, was it? It was prime of the century and the dreamer and all that. Oh, that's I liked it. <laughs> but we, yeah, we, he's, like Craig said, you might rush the battery ram, not his, not his head, his feet. But yeah. he could do the sprung, <laughs> <laughs> sprung doors at the back of the fire door. So, right. But I remember 
running through once and being chased right up the stairs, right through the bar by a bouncer. Yeah. Probably, probably wheezing away. Oh, and, then, and, then, and then down the stairs of the other, and then I ran in, and it was man. I've been uh, on a back street crawler. Nice. Back street crawler. And, uh, and I sat down and fell asleep. Probably dead at the bottom of the stairs. Yeah. So you didn't see any sort of iconic gigs at the, at the John Cale. Yeah. John Cale. Yeah. Like yeah. Luke Reed. Jade Hall. Yeah. Yeah. Blue Blue T-Rex. T-Rex, T-Rex, Mick Ronson, John Cale, Television and Blondie. Was yeah. Hockey Mask. Television uh, and Blondie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, the, the, the only reason I know about that is, um, is that T-shirt that you had that eventually got stolen, didn't it, that T-shirt? Which you know, the John Cale one with him in the Hockey Mask. We got ripped off in when we got jumped at the park pub that night. That's what it was. What the hell? Uh... The Alex Harvey yes. one. Oh, Alex Harvey. We saw that two nights. Yeah. Yeah. We saw that. We saw him twice. Dr. Yeah. Peel Good, we saw that. We saw loads of great guys. Yeah. Yeah. So, the, the thing... Kale like, twice. And it's... it's, it's I banged on about it, but the, the, the thing that everybody was sat round all their hands waiting for something to happen because there was no good music about it. I mean, that's pretty much bollocks, isn't it? We never got that. I mean, but then again, you see, we love prog, and so it was supposed to be like, oh, all right, this is the, you know, well, prog. Just kind of temper it to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a shift. Yeah. Well, hang on, now that White got dressed his soul. Yeah, it's a piece of shit. What? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sick with Jemison Pete Floyd. We like that. We love yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, okay. we went to see Camel as well, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I must admit, I, I, I fell asleep on that one. <laughs> I can find very little redeeming feature in yes. I've tried, you know, because you, you know, you go no, back and you think, oh, no, that's I can't the, stand it. Yeah, no. Awful. R.I.P. Alan White. But I mean, Alan White, he played, on, he played on Instant so Calm, I saw, but didn't yeah. do anything for that. Yeah. So, yeah, but, so you were, there was no, I don't think there was ever, because the people who were at that gig were at that gig because they were at loads of gigs. It wasn't because they suddenly decided that night, I'm going to go out and discover what music. No, but we didn't have the intimacy. No, it's right. Plays no. like rappers, isn't yeah. it? To actually no. be right next to the band and yeah. see him wandering about and all that. That was a different magic. Definitely. Up into a free trade or, you know. Yeah. You never saw, you never see Pete Gable wandering around. Although you do see Mick Jagger in uh, a, what, not what shop was it? Reno's. Uh, Reno's, yeah. 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 Uh, I just left you, haven't I? So, I know. Well, you tell me. It's <laughs> <laughs> a tiny bloke, he said. <laughs> well, he does that thing, doesn't he? Apparently, well, you know, when you do photographs, Mark Radcliffe talked about it. Is but when you do a photograph, you get and just as the bloke says, right, okay, he stands up on his tiptoes and makes himself three inches higher on all his photographs. Well, I mean, it was, it was ridiculous because he had a white kimono on with a red and gold dragon. But what else are you going to wear to go shopping? For? And he had this really tall, just very tall. He must have been martial arts because he wasn't well built or anything. But I went up to Mick Jagger and said, "Are you who I think you are?" Which is really stupid. Yeah. And he went, Why? Who do you think I am? <laughs> 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 and he signed me a copy of Melody Maker and I gave it to uh, is it Andy Corcoran at Greg's. Um, oh, okay. So I didn't even hang on to it. But, um, but the Future at All, I mean, obviously the massive difference between a lot of the bands seemed to play the Future at All quite quickly. It didn't, you know, I don't mm. know, they would have been doing the university circuit and we wouldn't have been aware of them. Well, the lesser feature at all was a different beast altogether, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. We didn't even know about that until the Pistols. Thing, no, did we? no, 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 existed. We didn't regularly have gigs on, did it? No. No, I don't think so. Well, they only got it because, well, didn't he write for the New Master Review? I did, well, so that's how he knew about it. I Is think. it? Right. I think so. Okay. But, I mean, at the Hips, as you you found out who actually started using that place. They must have had a... Well, they might have had like, chamber music or something. Well, yeah, it'd be interesting, yeah. that, could what, what, what was on there? Because it was quite small, wasn't it? Not I mean, last good. Was Richard yeah. Boone like the first to actually do it for like? No, I think they were. Yeah, they, 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 them because they, 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 they wanted to get the pistols on at Bolton and Bolton after they they did a gig buscocks just the two up with Garth before they got Steve Diggle and, and John Mark and they lasted three songs and they pulled the plug and then they said, well, we've got this other band and they said, well, if they're anything like you, you can fuck off. So they, they, they couldn't play Bolton, so that's when they got the lesser free to at all. Change the world. Yeah. So um, that was what you were saying about the intimacy. That was a massive thing. That to go from I to say I knew someone in a band, which was obviously you, Mark, uh, because that was a you didn't know people in bands then, really, did you? No, but we used to go and see them. We'd see them at St Bernadette's. We'd see them at uh, the four, and that I don't that might have been them pumped the door and they kicked in. But yeah, yeah it was kind of a youth club thing, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. that was it. Going to see Slaughter the Dogs, and and they were doing Bowie. 
Yeah. You know, yeah. Punk didn't exist, so they were no. doing Bowie tunes, and we knew them a little bit, and so it was like, say, it was a little kind of... Yeah. These people actually exist and are real, rather than just seeing them in the papers, or seeing them on the big stage of the, what you call the really famous people, who probably didn't have a pot to piss in, you know, we were playing the PJ Hall to... Yeah. Um, a thousand people or whatever. Right. Um, so yeah, it was it was our kind of a, it was a little club we were in, you know. Yeah. And so and yeah, and while Ram had Bang of an old Leeds was part of the same thing, and we went to, went to see him at the forum. Did you go to the forum show? It might have been a bit of a check for you, but it was Salt and the Dogs and that Bang of an old Leeds with Vinnie Riley on guitar. One of you remember? Well, yeah, he must have fit right in it. Bang of an old Leeds, didn't yeah, he? Yeah, he didn't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> was Morrissey not with him? Morrissey was with him for a bit. Oh, sorry, right? Morrissey was. was in that Bang of an old Leeds for a bit, wasn't he? I think. Or he tried out for him. Uh, was it sort of that he was in with Billy Duffy? I thought it was Ed Banger, wasn't he? Who knows? Because they, 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 they split, didn't they, sort of the dogs? I mean, he went on and they became just slaughtered, didn't they? Yeah, bit, I think. and I thought yeah. that was Morrissey and Billy Duffy, but I could, right. be, wrong. could be right. Yeah, and then he moved to LA. I've always, I've always wondered how he's uh, managed to survive as a rock and roller all this Who? time. Uh, what's his name? Nick Rossi. Oh. I mean, he's never done it. He's, he's never put his pants before. on before ten in the morning in his life. Like, what? How's he? I in? interviewed him about a year ago, and he's a dead nice guy. And he's got an American accent yeah. now, obviously. I can't <laughs> believe he's still going. I know. Yeah. He was working with Walton Yore. Who's that? What out there? Out the Outbreakers. So oh. he was within his. He was in his band. And, so, no. I mean, yeah. Well, that would be a total dream, that wouldn't it? Yeah. 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 Well, well, he, he worked with Nick Ronson as well, didn't he? Well, Nick Ronson produced. The record, didn't he? Did One of the records. The story is again that Mick Rossi got to know Ronson, and um, and Mick Ronson said, "If you ever get a record out, I'll give you my guitar." Now that is an icon. Oh, guitar. No. <laughs> and so he, he didn't get a record out. He didn't give him the guitar. He, <laughs> he bought he bought a copy. Right. And gave it to him. Right. And produced Quick Joey Small. I think you might have been. Right. Okay. So, yeah, he did, he did know Ronson, yeah, he was a picture of them walking together in London and that. But, so he moved to New York and, yeah, what he does, what he does for a living, I don't know. But, I mean, he was in Walter the Yard band, but Walter the Yard died not that long ago. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, His book's quite good. It's all about the, he's, he's up because they're on that, the, the Anarchy in the UK tour, which right. we'll say they're on yeah. the tour. He's yeah. only got four dates, two yeah. of them were in Manchester. Yeah. Right, so did it feel like a scene then, Manchester? What, at what point did it become... Did it feel like you were part of a rafters? Mm. Was it? Wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, for a lot of people, I think that the electric circus, the ones who went to the electric circus, yeah. was their real home. But yeah. we, we never went there. We were just up to the last two nights. Well, I mean, that's the only thing anyone can ever agree about. I saw the stranglers there. At the electric circus? Yeah. Did you? Right. And uh, somebody got yeah. right into Hugh Cornwell's mouth. I mean, that was... And he was, like, doing this... I mean, we were all like club band at the start. He kind of got on the coattails in a way, didn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. yeah. Doing that kind of Sid Vicious, I don't care. Right. How was that? Oh, fucking hell. It was disgusting, that, wasn't it? Yeah. That was yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean what, where did that come from? Captain what? Sensible. Fucking hell, man. Captain Sensible started it. But I was going to say, Electric Circuit was never a venue I thought as a. It was just rafted to me. Well, it was in the middle of League Nowhere for a start, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. It was a good area. Well, yeah, still is. <laughs> the uh, urban renewal's not reached Colliers yet, I don't think. Yeah, well, well yeah. <laughs> that's Paul Hanley saying that. <laughs> 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 but Raptors, well, I mean, we just went there all the time. Yeah. I mean, that was the thing. That was, that was that so kind I of think out. One of you mentioned we got in free. We did, yeah. yeah. We did, yeah. Quite often, that was, well, I mean, that was a bit later. That was what I was yeah. going there. Later than that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't remember getting in free from the. No, no, uh, no, no. We weren't in the band at the time. That was it. We used to. You know, our face was our past eventually, but yeah. under that point. <laughs> <laughs> so to say, ridiculous. In comparison, even inflation wise, still ridiculously cheap, so we could afford that. Well, it's pump, that's what he reckons, that's what Teddy Christian reckons the big thing about pump was that you could go into gigs and drink beer at pub prices was the big thing, the big selling point of. Because before, if you got the free trade off, it was extortion. Yeah, that's why we went to the free trade off as well. Get a bar. Ah, so, right. Yeah, well, there you go. If it wasn't for there, that, yeah. if it wasn't for that, you'd still be, you know, you've well, never yeah, made the yeah, green line. Yeah, I mean, Raptors, we, we just saw everything I went to. We saw the Banshees there, we saw Generation X and Nico. Right. Yeah. Well, that was a bit later, Nico. I was at that. Well, Bloody hell. Yeah, yeah, she wasn't looking for the tape, though. She was looking for the cane. <laughs> I know, I know that now. I know that now. <laughs> but, so, you. 
Mark saw you with the T-shirt. We better get talk about the fall. Mm-hmm. I suppose we should do. Mark saw you with the T-shirt. I was going to the toilet, actually. All oh, right, okay. Love the precise detail. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> so you were in the toilet, Mark. So approach me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. No, I was coming out of the toilet. And he admired me. T- he admired me T-shirt. <laughs> That's very tight. <laughs> So then you you started roadie. Just you was roadie, weren't you, I presume? Mm. Yeah, he just sold the T-shirt and said, oh, do you want to be a roadie for the band? I'm like, yeah, of course I do. I mean, they were our favourite band at the time. Yeah. I mean, so... I don't, don't remember an invite. No, yeah, they were. Uh, no, they were so in the band for one, mate. And I had, well, the, I had the muscles. They were yeah. <laughs> everyone in there doing it for free. Yeah, yeah, it was about yeah. bleeding wheeze, that was, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, do you want to be a roadie for our band? We can't pay. Oh, yes, please. Yes, yes. Well, again, it was just, I mean... Cause which one are you two? Rody the to Donovan with me. Yeah, that was not you. Right, we well, went to see Donovan. He was as bad as Jordy, man. No offence. Yeah, obviously. yeah. But the Rodies, we were waiting at the end. I don't, didn't even like him. We were waiting to see him at the end at the stage door. Yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, and the Rodies came out and went, you, you, do you want to earn a five or eight? We're like, yeah. And because there was oh, hardly any gear. was a lot of money, then. Didn't even pass the fill, there. Could have yeah. been anything. Sensational yeah. <laughs> thing. <laughs> we were disappointed. I haven't paid for the church, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so we went in, and of course it's done. All he's got is a rug, a guitar stand, and a PA, which wasn't that big. So me and him hunt most of it out. We've got a pie of Bloody hell. And uh, robbed the rug. <laughs> Run off with the rug. Run off with the rug. Run off Right, I've got to, so, just hang on, don't say anything interesting, I'm just going to pause it and get a drink for everybody. Oh, so, what was the first gig you roadied for the fall then? Where was that? I think it was the Croydon Greyhound, only for Susie and the Banshees. Wow. I think. And that's the one where John Walters was there, isn't it? Yeah. So was I. Well... So, oh, well, we help you lift gear. <laughs> no, you went there, you were Mark's roadies. <laughs> you were there. Yeah, I can't, I, honestly, I mean, that's the first one I can remember. I remember. You must have been at an early one. Yeah, I must yeah, have been. Yeah, you must have been. Yeah. I, can, I can remember helping him with the gear at the squat for that Eric, Eric last game. Yeah, that was late. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you basically I, contracted out to me. Subcontracting. All rolled it. See, I got paid now, and I gave you less than that. We had to pay you. It's like a second of all these early. No, they had it. Please can we roll it, sir? Please can we carry the amplifier? But, I mean, that might have been quite an anesthetic. No. It's like a school hall, wasn't it? It was like there's no atmosphere whatsoever. It's all wooden floors. Yeah, it's quite it was, weird to see it. It's like a town hall, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So it might have been Eric's. I don't, I, that's the one I can really remember. Right. Be the Banshee. That, that again was a bit like, oh, you're on the stage with yeah. the Banshee. Not that long before yeah. we've been paying a go watch. Yeah. And yeah. I still love to this day. So. Yeah. Indeed. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> right. So then. Who was the ba- who was the bass player then? Then at Graham was that still Mark? Was that still Tony Feel or was that Eric Man? Yeah, no, Eric. I never rode him whilst Tony was in the band. Right. Okay. Or, or who no. Right. Possibly not. Well, there was Johnny Brown, wasn't there? Very briefly, he was, he was, yeah. was post Tony Feel. Yeah, he's kind of mystery man. Yeah. Now, didn't he? Yeah, before completely change the subject. The first drummer in the fall was called Steve Ormerod, apparently, that came out to that. Is he any relation of John the Postman? Mm-hmm. No, but I mean, it be, it's not the most common of names, Ormerod, is it? So you would have thought he'd have been a relation of John. He might have been. Might have been. Yeah. Well, they're both called the same thing. They're both uh, all the gigs. I, I, I think John would have mentioned that quite a lot. I think he possibly would have. Yeah. yeah. But anyway, so, I digress. Hand on the Wall your, was your first gig. After the debacle with... So was it straight away they asked you to do it? They asked you to join after the appeal session? <laughs> um, yeah, about the day later, I think, then Mark the rang up and said... Uh, yeah, you, must have had, you must have thought when he, when he said... No. Did you not? Not at all. I mean, not even slightly, but quite simply because, A, I couldn't play bass, and B, I couldn't play guitar. I wasn't very good, you know. Yeah. I mean, I'd not nailed it. Well, that's what you call yeah, someone who can't play guitar very well. Uh, you could play guitar. I know. I, I, I could Bass is a totally different instrument, though. I know it's simpler, but... It's every old fun shit. It's every old fun shit. It's every old fun shit. Yeah, if you can play, yeah, I always say if you play the guitar, you can play the bass, but if you can play the bass, you can't necessarily play the guitar, which is just stand up in court, wouldn't it? <laughs> and then then we can all agree with that. Um, <laughs> but, uh, not necessarily play well. Yeah, 
Um, well, I mean, I mean the bass. Well, I mean, fun is the bass on. Like, which was great. Yeah. It's not only, yeah, I mean, I'd like to play what Tony B wrote, really, or Martin. But um, but anyway, I mean, I think it's a bit of a bump, you know, I mean, when I hear it now, it's like, oh, well, it's kind of done. It's quite big boots to step into as well, Tony B. Because oh, he, he was he a was riff, privilege, wasn't he? Yeah, he wrote a lot of stuff. Yeah, he was, yeah. He was, yeah. yeah. He was, yeah. He was like sort of lead like jazz. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, but, he was going to get some mythics. If you listen to Last Orders stepping out, yeah, so it's all the bass, yeah. isn't it? Psycho Mafia. Yeah, Psycho Mafia. It's all the bass line, isn't it? I think yeah. it's only with the driving force of the right at the, the, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the beginning, but then obviously. You're going Matlock. Yeah, and then obviously when he went. You got um, Sid Vicious in. <laughs> well, <like> Eric. <laughs> Eric Vicious. Yeah. Um, and Both. Uh, small furry animals because Sid Vicious was named after Johnny Rotten's hamster so there's your link there Eric Ferret and Sid Vicious there you go hey, well, like, that, 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 the ferrets the John Kipper Park's packing van when he did the boat tour. yeah I think they were the, yeah they were yeah that's where he got his name I don't know why he, why has he got so many names Rick Goldstone well, <laughs> there's Riggles. an answer to that which <laughs> I <haven't laughs> moving on <laughs> moving on indeed yeah, so, so you yeah. were both I think, yeah, it was in front of him the day after the Peel session, but I didn't see it coming at all. Right. Absolutely. And, uh, yeah, um, that was that was it, really. It's just that simple. Right. And so then, then, what did your folks think of all this? My dad, was, my dad was always really, really supportive because he didn't like his job. He was an amateur winder and he was backbreaking and, you know, yeah. in Trafford Park and he didn't want me to follow him and he knew I wasn't an academic. My mum, however, wanted me to work in a bank despite the fact that I got a U in maths. <laughs> so so, uh, so my, my mum still wanted me to work in a bank. Yeah. My dad did want me to go and just, you know, spread my wings for a little bit and then probably fail. I mean, he probably didn't think it would lead to credit ledger. No, no. Well, that's, what, that's cool, though, isn't it? It is, yeah. Because yeah, my parents never thought I had a proper job until right. I joined uh, the DW. You didn't? <laughs> <laughs> you didn't? <laughs> they were right. <laughs> they were right. <laughs> oh, we are in the vault. We can have a fight. <laughs> um, but no, because I, I, I'm talking about that with our Annie, and I said about... I don't... My dad let me join the fall of 16. I'm not sure. I, I wouldn't let my kids join. And he said he probably thought it was none of his business. Really? When he was 16... He'd been left school two years and working full time, so he probably thought, well, he's 16, he's going to be, you know, it's nothing to do with me. Yeah, but when you've had, when you've got work really hard and everything, I mean, you know, yeah. you, you, you like to think that you're both going to say, oh, go and have a bit of fun. I mean, and, and you did, I mean, you were in the port for that stretch of time and made a great impression and, uh, and a great legacy, and then you went off and you, you know, you yeah. a really successful yeah. career. Yeah. Hey? You know, <laughs> what you did. Yeah, yeah. But, but, I mean, Cured cancer, split the arm, you know. So, but, and also, I mean, obviously, your brother was in the band. Yeah, yeah. that was, was a big band. band. It, was yeah. like, it was kind of like, and Craig was always, you know. Yes. Well, yeah. so I had three the, big brothers the day I joined the force. I've still got them now, 58, and I'm still the little bloody brother. Yeah, who Those listening at home, they just sent me to the bar, but I'll be honest with you. I'm the youngest. <laughs> Not really. So, you were at the band of the wall, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's so you were, at, yeah, well, obviously, yeah. Because I remember you coming out of our house that day. I think I do, I might. I think I do. You were, came out of ours in the afternoon. Well, your house every, every day. Bloody day, yeah, but no, but it was a... As you carrying his base. Yes, he was, yeah, yeah. No, so you was. No, I didn't go, I was on him. <laughs> what you? I was on him. <laughs> no, he was in the band. That roadie business I set up. I was only 14, or maybe even 13 oh, when you took yeah. it. <laughs> No, the first time I saw the I was still pretty young, was, um, well, what was it called? He played with the Distractions, uh, at, well, not Brady's, that was in Liverpool, wasn't it? It was somewhere like that, at some club. But you, Beach that, Club. Bills. What? Beach Club. No, it wasn't Beach Club. Bills. No, it wasn't. It was. It, I can't remember what it was called now. I'll, it'll come to me. I'll but, bring it up. Then. What? Like an old folk song. I'm talking about the first. Bring up and stuff and people like, <laughs> first time. Do you not remember doing a gig with... Um, the distraction support. Right, there was it. no we stage did, when did, you got there. It was the beach club. Club. What? I'm pretty sure I was at the Gay Animals. I played with the I played at the beach club. That was I was, no, was just uh, after I joined. Played with the distractions quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. So we played at the at Fagans as well, didn't we? The first time we had two drummers. Who was their bass player? What? Who was their bass player? Pip Nichols. <laughs> Thank you very much. How do you know that? <laughs> Alex Sidebottom was a drummer. And I, I, have you lost me there, Mike? Uh, Mike. What's the singer called? 
Nice bloke, but I can't think of his name anyway. Well, I did that. It's Steve Perry with the guitar. Right? Yes, that's right, yeah. Mike, oh, oh yeah. Oh, Mike. I, I won't say Mike Bennett, he wasn't Mike Bennett, he was somebody else, didn't he? They were great at the shots, actually. They were really good. Yeah, some good songs. Yeah. They're still going yeah. as well. Hmm? Still, still going, going well. yeah. Still going, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, if you're talking about gigs, that was a gig that uh, stuffed the superstars. The uh, fall were on, the sections were headlined, the Joy Division were on. And was this that, very, uh, that was at the Mayflower. Well, yes. How was that like? Yeah, yeah I know you were. Well, I was playing, but you got headbutted. <laughs> I got headbutted by Ozzy's brother. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> God rest his soul. I don't know him much. I've no idea. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I used to remember that. You say that to everybody, God rest his soul. Well, they don't know. But he busts your nose right open, I remember that. I don't well, it's been a dick. He just came in the dressing room. I mean, it was an open door thing. We just yeah. came in, getting the drinks and giving our list to us. Just give us a minute. Ozzy came in and apologised. Right. Sorry about me, Robbie. He was a because he was a proper nerd. Uh, don't do that. Don't do Didn't you have a broken leg at the time? He had got you. I seem to recall. Me? Not you. No, him. Ozzy's brother. Launched himself. We're back at the, 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 the old boss. Yeah. Lost in the wheelchair when he beat you up. Like an episode of Victoria <laughs> Woods. Stephen Hawking beat the shit out of him. I think I think that was that might have been it. But they were definitely on last. The distractions. It's right. It was just up the road from me, like. West so, is it? Yeah. It was well, an old yeah. car showroom. <laughs> An auction room or something like that. It was yeah. a fun house, it was called, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we we went to see house. Nick Turner's in his city mm-hmm. unit there. We were on a pair of ballet, as I recall. Really? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. That's it. Bowie, yeah. Bowie, yeah. Bowie, yeah. Bowie, yeah. Literally five people. Bowie, yeah. Yeah, we're mean, Bowie, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, so um, that was another shit hole, wasn't it? I don't, know if it was, I don't think it was quite as bad as the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, it was awful, circus. but I think it was shutting by then. It was yeah. almost terrible. The, the last gasp, wasn't it? Yeah. When we did that. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think it was almost terrible, really. Right, so the one thing I've got to, I've got to say, I got, I got a phone call the other day from um, Jeff Travis, would you please, taking umbrage with yes, the me. idea floating in somebody's book <laughs> that he had suggested to Mark that he sack his band he and go out to solo. He could have had a subtler way of introducing <laughs> and I, I just, I, 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 It just popped into my head and I don't, I don't want to... I was going to talk about record companies. We'll talk about that. I but think this is called an official apology, Steve. Yes, it is. You've got to get with the programme. Uh, <laughs> so he never did it. He never... Oh, he was... He was quite affronted at the idea. Wow. He, he thought he was just said it would be a terrible idea for Mark. Now, did, did Mark kind of broach us yes. and say he suggested... Yes. Yeah, I reckon that's Well, there we go, then. Yeah, I reckon. Yeah. Ultimate, man. He's basically saying, I did... Right. Mark would be saying, I did the right thing. I just kept you I said, I'm with you. I'm keeping yeah. the land. Yeah. 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 Under all the pressure from the record. Under all the pressure from Jeff Trump. Oh, yeah. oh, I've been angry about that for you. <laughs> right, so... Yeah, I think, sorry, 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 Jeff. Jeff. Again. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Jeff. I, I, know, I, know, I know. I was, was going to say, it's very telling that everybody's apologising. <laughs> We're all apologising, apart from Stephen yeah, yeah. Bloody wrote it. The, the Boris Johnson School of Apologies. <laughs> very, very sorry if you. Can we, can we not move on? Yeah, yeah. So, you were on Step Forward when you first recovered. So, you did the first single you did was It's the New Thing. Yeah. Where was that one? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I London, oh, I re- honestly yeah. can't remember. Um, we were there. We were there, yeah. yeah I remember I, had, I did a spoken part. What was the B-side of that? that was the various times. times. I did a spoken part. Oh, yeah, of that. Did, yeah. I didn't fucking use it, I don't think. Yeah, I remember you. You might have an undercurrent there, but I was like, you do had a me reading out. To read out, yeah. Um, I can't this remember. It was really exciting for us, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Proper studio. Yeah. I mean, I remember a lot more. More about Life of the Witch Child because it was very eventful, the yeah. recording of it. Well, I mean, I mean, you did it on the day, didn't you? Yeah, well, we, we had a week in the studio with Bob Sargent and we were staying on a hotel, I think, in Southampton Road. We had no money and Mark and Kay were out every night with Miles Copeland and no. we didn't we? And then, yeah. but yeah, Mark, he's, he's lost his voice and then, so we just sat around for five days. We had no money. Yeah. Well, Martin, yeah. it was psychosomatic. 
I've got a psychosomatic voice. That's why I am. Yeah, yeah. yeah, possibly. But he said he, said he had a vitamin oh, yeah. jab up his arse or whatever. I'll go, I'll go and, uh, and it, it, well, known for I cure myself. Yeah, but B12. I yeah. 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 was just following somebody who used to have that. I thought it was Elvis, but having B12 jabs. Right. Yeah. They yeah. kind of thought it's a speed kind of thing. Yeah. But anyway, you, so we were out of action for five days. We had a day to record it and a day to mix it, and obviously we ended up doing that. But, I mean, any other band in the world would have recorded a backing track, something else. Yeah, or at least that's have yeah. five days. Uh, yeah. Why we stripped it to two days? Well, um, because we couldn't afford to go over that, and you know the way that the ball were. We wouldn't record the backing track. I mean, he wasn't that disciplined. We'd quite often the thing would go on Mark's queue. Yeah, yeah, all the way So, I mean, it's not like it's not like we could say, right, we'll go and put all the backing track down. That wouldn't have been the four way of doing it. And it was a debut album you as well. You just know he'd say that shit anyway, wouldn't he? He would, yeah, yeah that'd yeah, be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Right. But I mean, that came in later on, I think, didn't it? With you, where everything was four of these, eight of these, and he, and he worked around the music in the end. Because that was always a thing when I was in the band. That, yeah, yeah to know the words and just like especially George, George Ball in the air I thought it was the one you know that always, you never got never got right no no <laughs> never well he would normally come in you halfway through a bar wouldn't he bar, <laughs> yeah. wait, I, was, I was told I was told not to you wait one bar some, yeah. I was told not to wait one but as soon no. as I say this yeah. I want to be into the chords I'm yeah. like oh, and I will yeah. back you yeah. and it would always so be halfway through all of us yeah. fucking up but you get a <laughs> I'm right 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 I'm <laughs> I was never right. But it was, he did right, he did say, when, when I, I say did. this, you've got to go. Also, yeah. Yeah, it's just ridiculous, you know, in the Pentacle Coach, just a fuck up. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you try to get it all out. Yeah, like, the first of the Pentacle Coach, yeah, yeah, it was it. The Broken Brothers, Pentacle Islands, <laughs> made to make your summer, <laughs> just follow that. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I say that all the time, we do it at Tempo House as well. Yeah. Because you do like, because I just thought, like, I didn't play anything. Like that. I, mean, I just did the put the game and then and it, it goes in line. I got <laughs> and I right. wait for me to go put the game. Yeah, put you up. Then scowl at you, roll his eyes. <laughs> no, I got a dance at five now. I knew what it was fucking yeah, trying that, so I was just kind of do myself. It's a bit like with the a bit like with the bouncers at the free trade. Oh, you go really Jewish, you go shimmy. Hence, Temple House is seventeen minutes long. After you, no. After you, to catch me out. <laughs> <laughs> after you, no, after you. Yeah. We did Temple Hall. You were the original Temple Hall. We played Mouth Organ. Did I? Yeah, yeah. Band was so. I don't remember what I'm the Larry Adler of the yeah, yeah. Band generation. Yeah. I mean, there was loads of stuff. That was one of their ones that we played, we had for ages that got sort of yeah, like, cast aside for a while. Either binned all together or done a year later because of the fucking room to live. The stuff we made up on the full email. So, did I not play on the recording version of Tempo Hat? No. Right. It's live from the Hacienda, the recording version of Tempo Right, okay. Yeah. But there's that, and there's, so uh, there's a couple of other um, wings as well, I think you were on originally. Yeah, well, I, I wrote the original riff for wings. Which is doom, 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 I do remember Get Your Flabby Wing but so, obviously a completely different song when it came out Sound like Chaz and Dave yeah. <laughs> 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 I wrote Snooker Loopy as well <laughs> did you say I did not <laughs> For joining us for the final episode of series two of old brother we'll be taking a break for a while but we will be back later in the year i must say thanks to our brilliant guests this series it's been an absolute joy to speak to all of them and while we're away please follow us on twitter at old brother show you can find links to our spotify playlist on there or why not subscribe via itunes stitcher or rss then you'll be all set for series three while you're at it you can give us a rating on itunes subscribe on youtube or just tell your friends for further reading, you can check out our books about the fall, The Big Midweek and Have a Bleeding Guess, both available from Root Publishers and all good bookstores. Hope to see you all again soon, and remember, if you're driving, take your car. Ta-da!